Hi friends, today we are going to talk about contouring. Um, the product that I like to use is our actual um, powder. And I like this because it's easy to place. We also have a contouring stick. This is not it, this is the highlighting stick, but it's the same concept, it twists up. And I like to use them both interchangeably, but my stick is in the car. So we are going to do it with powder today. Now, I already did one side of my face and you can see that the purpose of adding contour is to add dimension to the face. And if you look at the difference, this cheek kind of goes straight down and this one almost looks like it's got like a like a dent in here, like my my um I'm drawing a blank. These things, my cheekbones, that. My cheekbones are more um, chiseled because of this shadowing underneath. And that is exactly what contour is supposed to do. It also it helps with giving dimension to your face so that we do not look like we are just a flat plane. We are three-dimensional characters, and that is what the contour is going to do. It's going to help give that dimension to our face. So I have a larger forehead, obviously my four fingers will fit from my brows to my top of my hairline. So I am going to contour all the way across my hairline. Now, if you have a short forehead and you have like three fingers or two fingers, you are not gonna wanna do this because what this is doing is drawing or closing the gap between here and here. You aren't gonna wanna do that because you don't really have a gap. So in that case, you are just going to wanna place your contour on your temples. But if you don't have that, then you are going to wanna take it all the way across. And you are just going to blend it back into your hairline and slightly down into your highlight. And that part's done. And it kind of brushed my hair in the in the process. Now the next thing I'm going to wanna do is I want to make sure that I've got the dimension here to lift my cheekbones so that these look more chiseled. So I am going to add just a little bit here. You do not want to take your contour all the way down here. Have you seen the videos where the girls go like this? Did you notice the age of those girls? They're not in their 40s. So do not puppet your contour by bringing it all the way down here, especially if you're not in your 20s or 30s anymore. Us mature girls, we don't use the same methods that they do. So keep it from the back of your eye to your hairline. Do not drag it down any farther than that. Just press it into your skin and you can take it all the way up your temple too, that's just fine. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chisel my jaw so I don't have jowls hanging as much as they do. And I'm going to start up here and I'm actually just gonna pull it down to below my chin and blend it down. And we can blend that in more later. But the other thing that I'm also going to do is I am going to make it look like my neck is thinner. By doing that. And then another thing I also do is run it on my collarbones so that the color all mixes together where the sun does not go down my shirt. And this needs to be blended out a lot more. But you get the point of what I'm saying. Now we can mix both sides together. And we can blend that out a little bit more. But the last thing that I do is I run it down my nose to make my nose look like it has a more chiseled appearance also. If you have a really tiny nose, 
then you don't want to do this because you already have a thin looking nose and this is a terrible brush for doing it but this is the one I have here so this is the one I'm going to use the brush that you should use is one that's well more precise I guess so maybe something like this would be best to run it down and put it on your face so you do that if you have a nose that you would like to make appear smaller. And then the last thing I do is I put a little bit under this lip here, like that. And that's something I do just because I like to make my bottom look look my bottom lip look a little bit bigger because it tends to cave in a little bit. So. If you want help mapping out your face on where you should be putting your highlight and contour, then send me a picture in Messenger and I will actually go into a paint app and I will actually paint on the different places that you should be putting it. And really all of this is, is trial and error. I have changed places. I used to pull my stuff, my contour all the way down. I used to put my highlight all under here. It's just a matter of playing around with it, learning new things. And don't be afraid to use makeup and play with makeup. Don't say, I can't do it because I don't know how. Well, I'm going to tell you how if you take advantage and, you know, let me tell you how. But you really, at the end of the day, you have to go out and try to do it. So don't be afraid of it just like a pencil it has a eraser at the end and we have makeup remover wipes that you can just wipe it off and start all over don't make it more complicated than it has to be get in my inbox send me a picture ask me the questions let me help you out y'all have a good day